imagine this. You need a portable computer, but not a tablet or a phone. A genuine desktop PC operating system computer. Yet, you find the laptop too cumbersome and unwieldy. And this isn't just hypothetical. Carrying a laptop with you on flights means that you have to go through a whole extra set of security checks. If you travel a lot for a living, this can become rather tedious. But what if you have a whole computer on a stick barely larger than the palm of your hand that you could connect directly to a TV or a monitor and Bob's your uncle? Well, in the immortal words of Oscar Goldman, we can do it. We have the technology. What we've been describing so far is called a PC stick. It's not exactly the most novel gadget, in fact, it's been around for over 15 years, but not many people are aware of its existence. So if this sounds just like the thing for you, well then you're in luck, because in this video we'll be going over the very best PC sticks for all budgets. But before we get to that, we'd like to say a few words about this product since it is an unusual one. Most importantly, we want to go over what kind of specs you can expect. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that the PC sticks are more similar to smartphones in terms of specs than they are to laptops, although they do inch closer towards the latter as the price increases. Also, there are only three specs to compare in the first place, and these are the operating system, the RAM memory, and the processor. As we've mentioned, PC sticks use the regular PC operating systems, mostly Windows, but you can come across a Linux one every now and again. Linux is actually better suited to these devices since it works better on underpowered devices, but Windows is much easier to use considering the main target demographic for PC sticks, business people, and we can see why Windows is so much more prevalent. But Windows is much easier to use so considering the main target demographic for PC sticks, business people, and we can see why Windows is much more prevalent. Next up we have the RAM. Not enough RAM means that the programs will stutter, hang, or freeze entirely during data intensive processes. So if your budget allows for a stick with more RAM, you won't regret buying it. Most PC sticks have 2GB of RAM, but there are some 4GB versions out there. And lastly, there's the processor. This piece of hardware will have the largest impact on your PC sticks usability. Granted, there are very few PC sticks with incredible processors, but you definitely don't want to dip below the 1 GHz clock speed. That way, madness lies and irritability. Not to mention the high blood pressure. There's also storage, but this is pretty much a non-factor here since all PC sticks rely on micro SD storage, so the only difference is the capacity. And there's usually the option to add more. Aside from a micro SD slot, however, there's usually only one USB port, so you'll likely need to use wireless peripherals with these PC sticks. Thankfully, you can always turn your phone into a wireless keyboard, so at least you don't need to lug around a physical peripheral with you all the time. Now, using these sticks is just as easy as we've made it sound at the beginning of this video. So just plug them into your HDMI port of your TV or monitor and boot it up as you would any other PC. Though, as you may have guessed from the specs already, these devices would hardly qualify for gaming. They're best suited for internet browsing and word processing. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's take a look at the best PC sticks each price range has to offer in 2019. As always, we'll start with the budget solutions and work our way up. These first three products are great for you if you want to see what PC sticks are all about without a significant initial investment. This holds true for the first model more so than the other since it costs just a mere $40. This is no cause for concern since the PC stick in question, the STCK1A8LFC, is made by none other than Intel. It is however the most low-spec PC stick by far with only 1 gigabyte of RAM. Thankfully, it runs on Linux, so it's getting the best performance possible out of this hardware. An Intel-made 1.3 GHz quad-core processor is no slouch either, considering the price. All in all, if you're looking to take a PC stick out for a spin, this is the perfect model. It won't send you back much monetarily, and it's more than suited enough for word processing, single-tap browsing, and even HD streaming. For just $40, we'd say that's quite a bargain. If you're looking for something a bit more powerful, however, then you might prefer the next Nextbox ACE PC stick that goes for just around $100. With 2GB of RAM and a pre-installed version of Windows 10 Home, this PC stick is still nowhere near suited for PC gaming, but it can run most web-based games without any issues. It has both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities, and it even comes with an HDMI extender that's very handy for reaching the awkwardly placed ports on most wall-mounted TVs. 
It even has a processor with a clock speed of almost 2 GHz, so it runs better than most recent cell phones. And with 32GB of storage and room for an extra 128GB, you'll hardly be running out of storage space anytime soon. So all in all, if you want a convenient Windows-based PC stick that isn't too expensive, the ACE PC is your best bet. But it isn't the last PC stick we have to showcase for those on a budget. There's one more, the Asus Chromebit CS10. Now this PC stick actually uses the Chrome OS, which is an operating system that uses cloud-based apps to maximize the performance of low-powered hardware. For example, it comes with 60GB of onboard storage, but you also get another 100GB of cloud space, so you never have to worry about whether you have enough room for your favorite movie. Just throw them onto the cloud space and you're good to go. It comes with 2GB of RAM, which is more than plenty seeing how most web versions of Office software programs are already optimized for use on this type of device. So if you're forgetful about transferring files that you need with you when you travel and you already use a regular PC or a laptop at home, this is the perfect solution. You can always keep your work folder up to date on the cloud storage. Now if you like what you've seen so far but you'd like a bit more functionality, then you'll have to invest more, although not necessarily a lot more. For example, the Azul Quantum Access Stick goes for $130 and it's quite possibly one of the best known PC sticks out there. Why, you might ask? Well, its specs aren't really all that better than the ones featured in the budget version of this video. In fact, the Quantum Access is definitely not the most powerful PC stick of the four we've seen so far. With only 1.3 GHz processor, and still only 2GB of RAM, although the 7th gen Intel HD GPU is a nice addition. But specs aren't everything. What's important is that this PC stick has more than enough juice to handle the resource-intensive Windows 10. But the best thing about it is that it comes with a prominent Wi-Fi antenna that improves signal strength and lets you connect to the internet even in otherwise suboptimal conditions. And seeing how portability is key when it comes to these devices, knowing that you'll be able to connect to the internet reliably is a big deal. Next up, we have another entry by Intel, the CS125. If you like the reliability that an Intel-made product entails, but you weren't too pleased with the specs and the Linux operating system of the previous PC stick by Intel, then let the CS125 set your mind at ease. With Windows 10, 2GB of RAM and an Intel HD GPU, and a quad-core CPU with a 1.3GHz base and a 1.8GHz boost clock speeds, this PC stick certainly doesn't lack any power considering its $130 price. What's more, it has not one, but two USB ports, one of which is a USB 3.0 port, which is great for connecting newer gadgets, although the Bluetooth option is, of course, still there. Additionally, the PC stick comes with adapters for outlets in three different countries, so if you're that kind of person who travels far and wide for their work, this is ideal. And lastly, it comes with a full year of warranty. Now, the next PC stick isn't technically a PC stick. However, while it may lack the requisite shape to qualify as a stick, it still has a highly portable computer system that operates in the exact same way. Sure, some pockets won't be able to accommodate the Gord V Z3735F, but it's still portable enough and easy to carry in any bag. And while the shape and size don't impede portability much, they do significantly expand the connectivity options. With four USB ports, an Ethernet port, an HDMI port, a TF slot, earphone jack, and a DC power in all readily available. And inside the metal case, it packs a 1.8 GHz processor, 2 GB of RAM, a dual band Wi Fi antenna, and there's even a webcam. So if you don't mind the shape and the size, but appreciate the connectivity, you won't regret getting this device by Cord V. However, if you want the best performance that PC sticks have to offer, you're gonna have to pay a proportionate amount of money. Now, this isn't to say that there aren't well-built PC sticks with admirable specs out there that don't cost an arm and a leg. For example, the Azul Access Plug goes for about $220, noticeably more expensive than what we've seen so far, but well worth it considering you're getting a 64-bit Windows 10 on a 1.44 GHz processor and with 4 GB of RAM, no less. Plus, it not only has a dual-band Wi-Fi 
Wi-Fi antenna and Bluetooth 2.4, also an Ethernet port. Sure, the processor is average at best, but the Access Plus still runs like a dream, with enough power to rival even many laptops. Plus, if you're a fan of multiple tab browsing, the 4GB of RAM are pretty much mandatory. But, believe it or not, that's one of the more affordable premium PC sticks. And while its price tag may have seemed large at first, it's going to look a lot more appealing once you take a look at the $400 worth Intel CS325. Granted, it can often be had for less, but even $350 is still no small change. Thankfully though, the CS325 is well worth the money with 4GB of RAM and the M36Y30 CPU that's clocked at 2.2GHz. This processor far eclipses that of any other PC stick in this video and it's able to handle multiple tab browsing with other applications running in the background. Plus, it has Bluetooth 4.2, so you won't have any trouble pairing the newest wireless headphones with this PC stick. And it has three USB 3.0 ports, one on the body of the stick and two on the power adapter. Now let's just say that not even most people who need a PC stick will need one this powerful, but those who do will not find it lacking in any way. And the last premium option for this video is the Lenovo Idea Center. It may feel a bit out underpowered with only 2GB of RAM and a price of about $250. But the Idea Center is perfect for students who don't want to invest in a laptop. It's perfectly capable of taking on all day-to-day -day tasks you might expect, what with the pre-installed Windows 10, and it comes with enough storage to store any single assignment, task, and assessment you'll be given until you graduate. It's also smaller than most other PC sticks here, which were already exceptionally portable. Finally, there's one last device that we want to give an honorable mention to, and that's the Raspberry Pi 3. It's not exactly a PC stick per se, but if we didn't use this opportunity to talk about it, we'd probably never get another one. The Raspberry Pi 3 is an exceptionally small computer system designed for tinkerers. It has no operating system and only a single gigabyte of RAM, but with some programming know-how you can make it into whatever you want. Once you've installed an operating system, you can use it for anything. Want to turn it into a CCTV system? Go right ahead. Just want to check your emails? That's fine too. The possibilities here are endless. And while we don't think you could set the Raspberry Pi 3 down a path of existential crisis by telling it that it exists only to pass the butter, there's still a lot you can do with it. You can tinker with it for an hour or dedicate a whole weekend to it. It's all up to you, and it won't set you back more than 30 bucks or so. And that about does it for this video. We hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and if you know people who die for advice like this and don't know it exists, help them out by sharing this video. Also, if you're in need of a more traditional portable device, check out our video where we compare laptops and tablets side by side to see which device is the better choice for whom. The link is in the description. In the meantime, may your gains be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.